Hi and welcome. Uh, today we will review how to display a timecode into some smart composition. So first let's uh, start by creating the setup and let's put some uh, media like this video here, here inside the composition and let's do a placement full and create a timeline inside this composition. So let's call this composition GCVD. All right, and let's put this video inside inside the uh, GCVD uh, timeline. All right. So this video, if I expand the transport, has a total duration of well this duration. Let's do a right click, copy seconds, go into the main timeline, go into the transport, and then do a past into the length of the timeline. So we'll have the timeline having exactly the same duration. Now what I want to do is to have a time code to know exactly uh, when I'm playing this uh, particular timeline, this particular video, uh, at which point of my uh, timeline uh, I am. So to do that, I will create a text layer, right click to the layer text, and let's call that time code. And let's put that in top left, for instance. All right. Now, what I want to do is to display uh, my time here uh, instead of the text. So what I'm going to do to achieve that is select the timeline, select the position here, and do a right click, uh, create link from. This will result in creating a link bank with this uh, little link which came from the position of my timeline. So let's call that GCVD timeline position. And right now I have an error because uh, I have no value connected to the target. So the value I want to connect is uh, obviously the text of my uh, time code layer. So let's copy, uh, drag and drop this parameter here. All right, then Another error here, so I just put my time code inside the GCVD composition, so to keep uh, things organized. And uh, if I put my mouse over this error, it says that it cannot convert uh, second to multi-line text uh, for target. Because here I'm trying to put some numbers, uh, actually uh, this number here from the position of the timeline, and to display them as a text. But Smod cannot do that directly, so what I have to do is to do a right click on the target, go into the modifiers and put a two string uh, modifier. And now if I move my timeline, then you see that I'm displaying the time of my uh, video here. And now you say, okay, but I do not want to display this kind of time code. I want to display the time code, the time code that I should find into the devices. Here I am on Smart Studio, so I have a limited choice uh, about the time code, but let's go into Edit Devices, um, Clock Input, and let's add one. So let's put the current uh, time uh, current code, current time clock. So now I have this uh, clock input uh, here. And what I can do now, if I want to display some text uh, displaying this uh, global time code, Let's create a new 2D text layer here and let's call that global time code and put that in the middle top, top center. Okay. All right. Now what I want to do is I have to create a directly a link here and in this link I will create just a link. And from now, I have no source uh, from my link, so I will select here the clock. And inside the clock, I will select my clock input. Now I have uh, an input from my link, which came from uh, the clock input, this one. Now I need to create a target, uh, like uh, I created here, but here it was automatic. Uh, now what I need to do is do right click over the link here uh, target and create a parameter target because I want to connect it to a parameter, uh, the parameter of my uh, text layer, which is here. Let's do the same thing. And same error that I have here, uh, I need to convert my target into a string. So let's do a control drag and drop here. 
and now I have my uh, time code. Here it's the clock of my my computer, but if you have a time code uh, coming from well, regular time code, uh, you can also display it uh, using this kind of uh, method. Now let's try to go a little bit further to um, show how work uh, the modifiers here. So let's go to the JCVD timeline position. What I want to do is try to do uh, some kind of um, countdown uh, from the start of the video uh, to the end of the video. So to do that, I have to add some modifiers here into the time code. So first, let's uh, transform this time code here uh, into a real. So modifier, right click modifier real and let's put that before the string because I cannot convert uh, a string to a real uh, and to give a reminder the uh, SMOD is always computing things from top to bottom so right now what's happening is I get the input from my timeline position send it to a target uh, this target I tell it change uh, my value into a string uh, and then change it to a real I cannot do that because I cannot change some some value, some string value into a real. So I have to change uh, the string, uh, the um, the the information into real before changing it into a string. And now you see, I have my value that has changed to real, which means that right now it's kind of seconds. You see here when I'm at three minutes, it's like uh, three minutes and forty-seven frames. Uh, I am in one, uh, 180 seconds and 95%. 95% because right now I think that my composition should be in uh, in uh, 50 frames by second. So I'm almost to one second more. So 95%. So now let's add a little multiplier. So right click, modifier, multiply uh, again before the string and multiply it by minus one. All right. So now I start from minus zero and I finish to minus maximum value of my timeline. So what I need to do is just add a little offset uh, that came from the total value of my timeline. So let's do that. Let's add a modifier offset. Where is it? Here. And let's put an offset here. And the offset should be from this value of the total of the timeline. Uh, so let's uh, put it uh, by end. So 180.95. Okay. And now I have a countdown. But the issue here is if I change the length of my timeline, I'm fucked. So what I need to do is get the value of my total uh, length, uh, the total length of my timeline, which I can get here into the total length. And let's create a link from this parameter. Let's put that here and call it GCVD timeline uh, length. So this is the total length. And now I have uh, the total length of my timeline that go into nothing because right now I have nothing assigned to my target. So let's take the offset here and let's take this value of the offset and connect it to this target. And let's change a little bit the value of my timeline to see if that work. And now you see that I have my condon that is uh, currently happening during the total time uh, of my timeline because first I'm getting this value from the length, total length of my, my timeline that I sent directly to an offset, to the offset. And the offset uh, come from the timeline uh, position that I convert to real, multiply by minus one, offset from the total length of my timeline, and then convert it to string. And doing that, I can uh, then, well, do a countdown uh, in seconds. So it's a little bit over the top and uh, moreover, if you want to do a countdown, you can more easily uh, animate it directly from the timeline here. But it's just to show a little bit how does these parameters uh, work. And now let's say that I want my GCVD uh, show to be sent only a certain, a certain time. So let's see what time is it right now, all right. 
let's say that this timeline I want it to be played uh, here from timecode. Okay, errors, I don't know why. Okay, shut the fuck up. Clear, clear, all right. And then from my clock input, and let's say that uh, my uh, video, this timeline here, I want it to start uh, from, let's say, the three point. 37.50 seconds okay why did it do that hmm ah, okay one wrong number so let's do that again 33.38 point let's say at 20 seconds point point all right and now when this time will reach 20 seconds chuk 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 beam my video hmm did i <sighs> 38 shit okay we will manage to succeed let's do that with my global time code okay here Okay, global time code. Let's copy and paste into this fucking value. I will manage to succeed. All right, and let's put that in 39. Thank you. 39 seconds, 39 minutes, and let's put that in 20 seconds. All right. And now when this reach 20 seconds, then my timeline, when this reach 20 seconds here, my timeline should start. Okay, and it worked. And so then you can bind uh, any given content uh, accordingly to, uh, to this uh, clock input. Whew, that was a little bit uh, difficult to the end, but then uh, you have it. All right, if you have any question, Feel free to ask.